six teams, three countries, one league. We're at the Maccabee Under-19 Winter Tournament. The boys only arrived yesterday, long flight, early start, all the kind of things they'll have to adapt to if they make it you know, to the top of the game. It's an amazing place, as you've probably already seen. Obviously a part of the world where there's so much going on, so much historically. You know, for a lot of the lads that we've brought, um, once in a lifetime opportunity. It's fantastic. In England it's snowing right now, minus one conditions while here. Nice breeze, you know, you've got the beach, like everything's Everything's all nice, so hopefully we make the most of it. And this is my first time, you know, nice country. Hopefully I can just gain all the experience I can have, you know, work hard for the team and hopefully get the results we need and win the tournament. So this is how we're going to line up today. There's your six markers. If you're not needed, Biv, if you're not needed and they go for a short one, so you need to recognise it early, see how many markers they've got. David, you're always edge of the box for us. We think they're going to play a 3-5-2 in terms of a one and two attackers there. So our fullbacks, balls this side and goes here, you've got to be ready to spring out and take, your, take their wing back. All right, Jashawn, same for you, Jude. Free kicks, Brandon and Will this side, Brandon and Joe that side. Now look, that's the picture you're going to get at the back. So your fullbacks are going to be spare. So you've got to think about getting the ball into our fullbacks and then play forwards. We don't want Joe going wide, Brandon going wide, and we've got a 5v3 situation, okay? We want to try and create a 3v3, all right, in these central areas. Joe would expect you to get involved and defend, but the opposite wide man can stay up, okay? So we've always got two on the counter-attack to break with. Does that make sense? Okay, we've done... I mean, I think we, we played this way, didn't we, recently against Bristol City. Ten minutes, boys, on the bus. If you need to grab anything from your rooms, do it quickly, okay? On the bus in ten minutes. Let's go. This tournament is going to be tough for us. We've brought largely an under 18, under 17 squad. Tournament football is great for young players and you know, we're really excited to be here. But I think when you come away for a period of time like we've come five days, you, you, you can learn about players, what might take you six weeks when you see them day to day on the training ground. You know, you, you are looking for lads that can potentially go and play in our first team. You know, have they got the right technical qualities? It's got to be aided by the right professionalism and mentality. And that, that's what defines a lot of players. We, we all went to school with really talented footballers and people will sit in pubs and say, well, I can't believe that he never made it. He was a fantastic winger. But what defines a lot of players and people we've met is, is their mentality and whether they want to commit, you know, to, to really forging a career in football, which takes a lot of sacrifices. Shouts. Did you see the one on Joe Hungway? Do you think it was a penalty? Definitely, the one here on the byline. It's a definite, definite penalty. Got to deal with that, carry on with the game. It's a make or break day, isn't it? Okay, if we get two positive results, this sets it up for tomorrow. Okay, so that's what we've got to look to do. Don't go down there and it's like, you know, if it don't quite work for us, we've got another day we haven't. This is it today. 
okay, this determines what, what tomorrow looks like. Okay? Mm -hmm. Alright, good stuff. Get yourself down there, let's go. Maybe bring a referee with you next time, guys. Eh? <laughs> you have a bit of a funny story, don't you, about how you met Steve Parrish? I was actually involved with uh, a football agency that was trying to provide some advice to the administrator of Palace at that time, Brendan Kilfoy. So Steve was trying to buy the club, Brendan was trying to sell it, but equally generate enough funds to ensure it got through to the end of the season. So. I became a, a bit of a Palace fan for, for six months. I remember Neil leaving and uh, Dougie came back, didn't he, from South End with Paul Hart and, and Pembo. But later on in life, as an agent, I brought Joel Ward to Palace. And actually, the last game I watched as, a, as an agent was the Palace playoff final. I've known Steve for a long time. So he came in May at the end of the season for a bit of sunshine. And I said, you have to bring your team here in January. And he said, OK, OK, I will. So I've held him to his promise. You know, I thought it was a fantastic idea, broached it with the academy. Obviously there's a lot involved in us bringing a, a, a team out here, but they were supportive, they felt it was something that would be good for the boys, so, so we made it happen. So uh, it's very exciting to see it all come, all the plans come to fruition. Just Sean, we're watching a couple of your future opponents here, what do you think of the standard football in Israel so far? I think it's alright, you know? I think they all moved the ball pretty well. It's not as fast as British football, you know? yeah. Today is an important day you know, in terms of the culture of the game. We've just got to take everything we've learned from yesterday into today and get the result we need. Obviously you want to do, it, do well in every game, so uh, yeah, I think the recovery in between matches and then um, preparing for, always preparing for the next game as well is really important. you just got to deal with the game, you know, things are not going to go your way all the time. I play for Taiwan, which is Chinese Taipei, and uh, I made my debut at 16, so um, and I've got 11 full caps now. Yeah, we didn't really know too much about the opposition yesterday, but they are quite physical and aggressive. And uh, I think, yeah, we, we played all right throughout the match and uh, kept a clean sheet. But I think we can do more today to going forward. So um, hopefully we can score some goals today. How important is it for these players to experience different cultures as part of their development? Very important, I think. You know, also challenging themselves football-wise. Obviously, you know, playing away in a different country. It's a very, very unusual part of the world. And football is obviously a massive sport here. Um, and I'm learning more about it as I go along and more about the teams. Hopefully, the only thing I want to know is we're better than all of them. <laughs> OK, so just switch on. Uh, this is the team today, OK? So look, the shape. OK, we're going to play a diamond in midfield. So Jude, Martin, Jashawn, Joe, wing back, Grandin, wing back there. Every time we put a cross in, OK, there's going to be Rob, OK, Brandon, and then you two have to make the box. So, this is the system that they play. It's, it's a 4 2 3 1. Okay, typical Dutch where they'll try and play out. Now, how we can hurt them, okay, you, you'll be, they, these, these wide players will take care of our fullbacks. We could be 3 v 1, all right? So, what we're working on before we come out here of stepping in is going to be important. I don't want to see we just get it here and pass the people that are marked. So, that left side, centre half, step in. You step in, all right, and that's the theme. Martin, you just get it and give it to him, all right? That's going to be your role today. So it's going to take a lot of energy, okay? All right, getting up and down. And then every area, you're going to play like a 10 in there. But we do not want you coming deep, because if you come deep, he comes deep, he comes deep, what happens? No attacking threat. Rob gets it, isolated, it's a problem. This is a great system, all right, if everybody gets in their little holes. I can see the day going into Mal, into Aviero and we're at them, and then you two running past Aviero. Okay, that's how good the system can be, because you'll be unmarked in this. If they go and mark Aviero, who then gets freed up? Excuse me. Yeah, one of you two. So we'll get someone freed up, we'll get someone turned, and we'll get someone going at them in their midfield areas. If you're in sure, okay, make sure you come and ask us in the next half an hour, okay, just a little bit, because you don't want to be not sure out there.
Okay, the seat cells are down, let's go. I've been watching it. Let's go, I'll get your cells in there. Brendan, sit yourself in there. For the first 20 minutes, great. Okay, we've lost our way a little bit, okay, in terms of in possession and a little bit out of position. I'll show you where. They're, they're, they're full back, they're, they're, their wing is going here, okay, which is leaving a load of space. For you, Mal, in the first 15 minutes, you were brilliant being quite high, but you've ended up coming deep to get on the ball more. We don't need you there, okay? What we want is a situation where it's that, the 10 has to come across, we reverse you in, and now you're high where you can do a you can play clever pass, all right? We don't want you marked. Okay, and at times when you have got it, okay, you've had loads of time to get going or to pick out passes. Okay, it's like a recipe for disaster to defend with two in a central area. Do you agree or not? Okay, we'll get done. All right, so the wing backs have got to be more disciplined. All right, but I thought, Jude, when you have been isolated, you've done all right, you've shown them outside. The ball. Yes, they're going to press, then do it, then you mix it up, Rod. You're, the, you're in charge. Slow down, spot in, get everyone in, and compete. All right? Come on, let's go and get the next goal. Okay, thanks. Listen, boys, before you go out, go tournament on. football now. If we're winning with five minutes to go, what are we doing? Keep it up. Keep it up. Corner. Corners, okay. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Did we see any reaction? I don't think we did. I just see people crumbling. The basics that are going to get you a career in football are still missing. If I'm tired, so what? You play football tired. You don't play a career fresh. You're going to be tired during the whole game, so so what? Someone still has time to get the head up, pick a pass out, run off someone. I'm still not nowhere near them. That's the basics of it. The second goal is at least, at least after that, East Bay has been two fantastic saves, and there's three other chances to clear it. At least someone take responsibility and put your foot for it and clear the ball. Then you crumble, then you go back and back and back, and no one's getting hold of everyone. Sit in, it's a tournament, you've got to flip it, you take a draw. Worst case scenario, you take a draw, you dig in, plug hole, run harder, run faster, but you don't. I don't see it, I didn't see it there. <coughs> You can win, you can win, but you're asked to do certain jobs and the basics of you getting a career anywhere is to run faster, tackle harder, and do a job and work your nuts off every time you're out there. So you've got to reflect, you've got to bounce back quickly, you've got another game in less than an hour. And that's the whole group, it's for the group. Don't be selfish. If you're being selfish, won't get you anywhere. You'll soon get found out, believe me, you're selfish. The team will not accept you, no one else will accept you. Be selfless, not selfish. Okay, so clear this dressing room, just get yourself tidied up, no one go out of here without a top on, okay? We just need to, the staff need the room for 10 minutes to get organised, okay? Get yourself out there. Listen, I think I should share it with you, just had the chair with you, for the attitude for getting each other, talking poorly to each other. And let me tell you, he knows football because I've worked for him for years. And that was his opinion on it. So you really need to look at yourself, throwing your arms up when things go wrong, talking poorly at teammates, not running when you should be sprinting, when things break down. So in the second game, we need a team performance. All right, team performance where he goes, you know what, that's what my first team looks like, with Harper, with Luca in midfield. 
I go with Townsend with Zaha. So whatever happens on that pitch, make sure the team ethic is right. All we need to see, what the chairman wants to see, is a reaction as a group. Whether you're starting, sub, whatever, a reaction together to show that you care. Right? You care for each other, you care for the team, you care for the club. Right? Just go out there, proper attitude, just go and do a proper job. Alright? Come on, you need a win. system we're playing, okay, we just want to play into the strikers, get it back, and then we've got the pace of him and the pace of Ken. So we need to go. We have to win this game. Hey! It's tough out here, you know, the teams are a lot different to the English teams and how they play, a lot more physical, but yeah, no, it's been a very disappointing day. It's about 400 degrees out here as well, so it's, um, physically it's very demanding, but it's still no excuse, we still, we still should be winning the games out here. If you're going to be a professional, come away in tournaments, travel abroad, this is what they've got to get used to. You learn a lot more from when things are going bad than when you're, do, when you're doing well. I quote the other day, like, success can be a lousy teacher, but it's a vital learning curve for the boys, like three under 16s played in that game there, played against boys who are at least 10 under 19, so in terms of that learning curve, sharp, but they've got to take on board the lessons very, very quickly. Did brilliant, I thought. Stuck at it. Should have got him sent off. We're past it. Brilliant. Excellent. You're playing for the under 19 squad here at only 15, 16? I'm an under 16 player at Crystal Palace. Scored 29 goals this season. How would you describe yourself? What type of player are you? Tricky, fast, and clinical. <laughs> it's actually good, you know. I think the teams are quite competitive, like, as are we, but. Like some games haven't gone our way and we keep going on, on to the next game as well. <laughs> One big effort, one game to go. I expect Rob, you, you should be fresh, Cam should be fresh, Kian should be fresh. You know, you players have got to come and make a difference to the team. One big effort, all right? Let's go, boys.
I think we've done well the last game. I think we dug deep. Um, we pressed, and I think it was a good result. Two two, not bad. We we'll take it. So I think everyone knows, you know, they come here for they come here for one reason, which is to play football and win the tournament. Unfortunately, we couldn't do that, but you know, it's, it's a good experience coming to Israel. The Israeli teams were more physical than what we expected. Well, obviously it was an under-19 tournament and the majority of us are under-17. We kept our playing style that we normally play in England, which was good. Probably the best couple of games I've played uh, <laughs> in a long time, to be fair. Sherman gave me a couple of words in between every game, really. He said he was pleased with me, said I should carry on doing what I'm doing. It's just, it's good to hear from a personal sense, like, someone so high up. Um, we're in Jerusalem now, so it's about yeah. an hour away from Tel Aviv. Mm. What do you think of the city? It's fantastic, honestly, it's breathtaking. You can just see it yourself, it's amazing. Going into the games, we were given away, you know, two years, and even with our 16s playing, it was three years. So we knew it would be physically and, you know, psychologically a massive challenge for the group. You know, the players will have learned so much. I think the draws and the narrow defeats are probably wins for this group where they are, you know, given away so much in age. And, and this is why you, you need to play tournament football as part of the players' development. You know, playing against foreign opposition, playing in situations that, that you find yourself in against referees and late goals, like you say, that, that can really affect confidence. It was really important that we didn't just stay in a hotel and go to a football pitch. You know, we have shown the players, you know, a different side of life that they wouldn't see back home. Football-wise, not not great. Um, could have done a lot better. Obviously, it's quite demanding physically. Two games in one day at our age, yeah, it's not going to be easy. Everyone had to adjust. Everyone had to work hard. Maybe playing different positions that they may not be used to. So, it was a, obviously, it had to be a team effort. That's the main thing. If we come next year, we'll try our best to get a better result. Overall, the trip has been great. Like uh, coming here, coming to see the sites has been amazing. It's something that most people in their lives wouldn't even get a chance to do. So, that's a really positive sight for everyone. Special place, even special to me because I'm Catholic. Obviously, I grew up in a Catholic church. Uh, pretty amazing to see where Jesus was buried. I know if my mum was here, she would probably cry. So, yeah, I really loved coming here. It was amazing.